Uh, hi there. This is Elisha. I welcome you to my YouTube channel. In the video of today, I'm going to show you how you can actually work out the area of a non right angled triangle. So without any further ado, let's take a ride. So when you're given any acute angled triangle with the vertices ABC and you're given two sides of that triangle plus an included uh, angle, how can you find the area? So now what it is is we, we are going to pick on this one and we're going to illustrate how you can actually find the area of a non right angle triangle. So this is actually the given angle. Then we have the side. So this is vertex C, that is side C, the one which is opposite vertex C. That one is vertex A, the side opposite is A. So now here we've been given angle A. The angle on the inside here is angle C. That one is angle B. So if you're given that, this is a side, that is a side plus an angle. How then do you determine the, the area of a triangle? So what you do is you say area of a triangle is given by half. Then you check which sides have been given. So we take it that this side has been given, that one as well has been given. So we're going to write the values of the sides or the lengths of the sides which have been given that is B C sign the angle which is sign A that's angle A so now with that in mind we can now demonstrate how to do that by actually picking all this problem so now they're saying find the area of the triangle below We've been given this angle, and then we've been given these two sides. Uh, so what we do is we say area is given by half the side that has been given that is P, and the other side is R, sine angle Q. So we can now plug in the value, so that would be area is equal to half. What is P? P is actually 13.2, then R is 7.6, sine the angle that has been given as sine 20 degrees. So area therefore will be. So it's just a matter of you punching the calculator. So that would be half times 13.2 then 7.6, then sine 120. And the answer is 43. 43.4398324. So with angles, you simply write round. When you're dealing with angles, you round off two this one plus. But as since we are dealing with area, we'll round off these two, two decimal places. So this one is a three. That is actually a number greater than five. So we get a one and add it to the next number. So that would be area is equal to 43.44. We check the units. That's kilometers. So kilometer square. Right. That's how we actually find the area of a nine right angle triangle. Don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe and turn on the notification bell, and don't forget to share with friends so that they may actually subscribe to the channel as well, so that they may begin to benefit. Thank you so much for watching. Stay blessed.